we will talk about the biggest and powerful icebreaker in the world, a ship designed to break Arctic ice layers around 3 meters in thickness, so as to clear the way for the other following ships. Today we will know Arctica. Hello everybody and welcome back to AD Cipher Insight Channel. The Russian icebreaker with nuclear propulsion, the Arctica, is the most powerful and the biggest ship in the world, and the flagship of a new generation. She's a titan of 173.3 meters of length, a beam of 34 meters, a draft of around 10.5 meters, and a dead weight of 33,327 tons and has a molded tip, which is the distance between the highest point of the ship and the keel of 51 meters. This last measure is of high importance. As we all know, the ship's navigation bridge is placed in the highest deck, so that it can offer a perfect visibility for the crew. She is propelled by two nuclear reactors that create 175 megawatts each, both connected to three electric engines and those ones connected to three propellers. A curious thing is the range of the ship, around 12 years, as incredible as it sounds. It is possible due to the nuclear propulsion and so important is this detail in these extreme navigation conditions that she is capable of sailing in these freezing areas without fuel. And the uranium fuel is the best option for doing all high demanding performance at sea as an icebreaker. She was named after an iconic icebreaker that will be forever known as the first surface ship to reach the North Pole. She did it on August the 17th of 1977.
But how do they break the ice, these ships? To be able to break it, they are designed with specific characteristics. The first one is the reinforced hull. It is reinforced in the bow, stir and waterline, so as to minimize the friction between the hull and the ice. Regarding the low flexibility of the marine ice, generally speaking, it is highly broken with the icebreaker reinforced hull due to the ship's weight. The vessel's hull is double and has more thickness, and the steel used can resist very low temperatures. The second peculiar characteristic is the hull's shape. It is designed to be tilted in the bow so as to be more round compared to other ships, with two different objectives to be able to break the ice with its weight and to pull the ice chunks to keep the way clear. The third characteristic is that these ships have powerful engines. They do not just do hard work that require additional power, but they also have the risk of being highly damaged by the ice. Regarding the engines and propellers. So, for this kind of navigation, they require powerful engines. It has to be known that the ship, regarding its characteristics and its bow shape, can slide toward the ice and the weight of the ship breaks it. On some occasions, when the thickness of the ice permits it, the ship charges the ice. There are some ships that turn around and put the stern toward the ice to move forward with the aid of acipods. Moreover, the icebreakers are provided with an injection system of air bubbles that throws 24 cubic meters per second of steam from a depth of 9 meters to enable the ice break and reduce the friction between the ice and the hull. To inject the bubbles, the icebreaker's hull has injection nozzles where air come out. Another important system are the ballast tanks that by means of its air pumps can be filled or emptied so they can vary the ship's stability and its trim. That is the difference between the drafts of the bow and the stern so the ship can capsize, get up and slice through the ice and break it. The weight of the ballast water can also help break the ice when the ship is above it. The design of the Arctica was done in the year 2000, being totally done in 2009. In 2012 they started building but some delays appeared year after year. Problems with turbine generators, the crisis with Crimea, where the parts of the ship were built, and also there were problems with an engine. At first, it was planned to be sailing at some moment in 2017, but its launching was delayed till 2020. The Russian government already has three other icebreakers like this one, but without an estimated day of launching. So far, today's Arctic report. Hope you have liked it, and see you in the next video.